Welcome to the Viva Voice of Anatomy. Today we are going to learn about the brachial plexus. Before the brachial plexus, we like to know about the plexus. Plexus meaning the networks. And it is a brachial plexus meaning it's a network of the nerves which are supplying the upper limb. So brachial plexus is just like a tree. They are like a tree, have a root, have a trunk. Our branches, the same way the brachial plexus have a root, have a trunk, division, cords, and the branches. So, we are going to learn about the brachial plexus. Brachial plexus is formed by C5 to T1. C5 is the fifth cervical vertebra, a cervical segment of the spinal cord, up to the T, uh, first thoracic segment of the spinal cord. Before that, we are like to learn about the, something about the spinal nerve. As we know, spinal nerve is arise from the spinal cord. It is our two roots. One is a water root. Posteriorly, there are the sensory roots. These two combine and form the spinal nerve. Now, this spinal nerve is divided into the anterior division and the posterior division. So this anterior division for the plexus, anterior division of the spinal nerve was from the plexus. Brachial plexus root are from C5 to the T1 and it gets the minor contribution by C4 and T2. Where contribution from the C4 is larger and T2 is absent then is known as a prefixed brachial plexus. When C4 is absent and T2 contribution is larger, it is known as a post fixed brachial plexus. Now, these four, five roots, they are combined and convert into the trunk. C5 and C6 form the upward trunk, C7 form the middle trunk, and C a and C1 form the lower trunk. Now, there was a division of these three trunk, upper, middle and lower trunk. Here, I am going to show the anterior division with the yellow color and the posterior division with the blue color. Now, you can see that these ones is one anterior division and the posterior division. Again, anterior division and the posterior division and anterior division and the posterior division. So these are the division of the brachial plexus. Now, this division are from the cords. There are the three cords: medial, lateral, and the posterior cords. The lateral cord is formed by the anterior division of the upper and the medial trunk. This one is a lateral cord. Medial cord is formed by the anterior division of the lower trunk. This one is the medial trunk. And all the posterior cord is formed the posterior cord. So, the position of this cord around the second and third part of the axillary artery, according to their position, the name is given lateral, posterior, and the medial cord of the brachial plexus. After the cords, there are the branches. Now we are going to learn about the branches of the lateral cord. There are three branches of the lateral cord. Their short form is L, M, L. Now, as we can see, the lateral cord is formed by the C5, C6 and C7. The root value of the lateral cord is C5, C6 and C7. Median cord is formed by the C8 and T1. So, median cord value is C8 and T1. And posterior cord is formed by the, all the parts of the root, 
So its root value is C5 to T1. So this one is important when you are remembering the root value of the different nerves. Now we learn about the branches of the brachial plexus. First we learn about the branches of the root. The root from the C5 that was the one now that was a dorsal scapular nerve which supply the muscles rhomboidus major and the minor that's why it's also known as a number now to the rhomboidus. Second nerve is a long thoracic nerve or it's also known as a nerve to serratus anterior root value C5, C6 and C7. Along with this it also supplies the longus coli muscle and serratus muscle and C5 root give contribution to the phrenic nerve. The now the branches of the trunk there was a two branches one is a suprascapular nerve and other is a nerve to subclavius. So suprascapular nerve supply the supraspinatus and infraspinatus and nerve to subclavius supply the subclavius muscle. Now here you can see there was a meeting point of the six nerves, upper trunk, division, anterior division, posterior division, two branch suprascapular nerve and nerve to subclavius and the C5 and C6. So this point is known as a OBS point and any paralysis after this point is known as a OBS paralysis. Now before going to the branch of the codes we will again divide the root value. Lateral code have a root value of the C5 to C7, posterior code have a C5 to T1 and median have a C8 to T1. Now the branches of the lateral cord, the short mnemonics for the branches of the lateral cord is L and L. It's a very popular scooter in the old time that known as L and L. So L is for the lateral pectoral nerve, M for the musculocutaneous nerve, and N for the lateral root or lateral root of the median nerve. Lateral pectoral nerve root value is C5 to C7 and it supplies the pectoralis major and minor. Musculocutaneous nerves pierce the coracobrachialis muscle and supply the anterior or flexor muscle of the arm and carry the sensation from the forearm. Lateral root, root value is C5 to the C7, it contributes to the median nerve. Second one, that is the median root. Median root, the mnemonic is M4U. That was the first one, that was the median root of the median nerve. Now, the, the root value of the median nerve is C5 to T1. The lateral root is the C5 to C7 and median root C8 to T1. Then you have median pectoral nerve. Median pectoral now supply the pectoralis major and minor and root value is C8 to T1. Now we have median cutaneous nerve of the arm. And we have median cutaneous nerve of forearm. So these two carry the sensation from the arm and the forearm. Here you can see the median cutaneous of the arm root value is T1 and the median cutaneous of forearm root value is C8 and the T1 and last one and for ulnar the root value is C7, C8 and T1. It's that the thing from the C7 of the median lateral root of the median now that's why its root value is C7 to A1. Now the branches of the posterior cord they are known as ulnar. So ulnar basically is a side branch, upward and lower subscapular nerve. The sub root value is C5, C6, and it supplies the muscle subscapularis and teres minor. Other one is a nerve to latissimus dorsi, or is known as a Thoracodorsal nerve. It supplies the muscle, the latissimus dorsi muscle. The important, it is the only muscle which originates from the lower limb and attaches to the upper limb. A for the axillary nerve. It supplies the deltoid muscle, the important one, and 
axillary now follow the heel turn flow as you know heel turn flow the now it's supplying the muscle is also supply the joint capsule and is also supply the skin over it so this is a now example of the now which follow the heel turn flow the last one that was the radial now the root radial radial now is C5 to the T1 and it supply the posterior compartment of the arm for arm that's all about the brachial plexus.